to verify it. So today I usually use Logo Pit Plus, which we have on the desktop, and then DocuSign close by. So we're going to go ahead and open up Logo Pit Plus. This is usually what I have used in the past to make contracts, used it for quite some time, and it's been very beneficial. So you'll see you have quite a few options here. I've always ever used the Facebook post or even better, we have the presentation mode, but I really feel comfortable with the Facebook post. So we're going to go ahead and do that. You can also start it out as just a blank form with no background, white background, or add your own. Um, we do have a couple personalized templates here of different colors. So there's also that, which are um, perfect to use as well. So since we go ahead and um, we already have the colors, let's go ahead and take this um, nice blue and red background here. So we're going to go ahead and bring it up. We're not going to use any of this stuff that they already have. So we're going to go ahead and take that and select all these and remove the objects. As you can see here, over to the left hand side, you have all your objects right there. So what you can do is like click each one of them and that also will help you remove the item. So we're going to want to get to a blank screen here. Actually, I kind of like that little star. So maybe I'll keep that little star. We'll put this little star over to the right here. Okay, so with the blue and red, that kind of gives us um, a little bit of a style that we're looking for. So we're going to call this, obviously, John. Whoops, no caps. Um, we're going to call this John Doe Contract. 2023 into 2024. Since we are kind of at the end of the year, I want to make sure that I put both on there just in case John Doe decides to book a show in December. So a really cool thing here is I really like this blue color, but if you want to make it more personalized, you can click right up here. They have uh, the color selected for you. What I like to do sometimes when I click that is there's this little eyedropper tool. Um, it's really cool for, especially if you're doing like different colors on um, the flyer or the contract per se, you can use the color selected. So if you go up here to this star and you click the little check mark button here, it's going to actually select for you the same color as that star. So it just makes it look a little bit more professional. Um, this font is a little bit too normal. So if you go right here to fonts, you can see we have a, a wide variety of different fonts. So since this is kind of like the most important part of the contract, we're gonna wanna put a font that kind of stands out. Um, one that's definitely easy to read. You obviously try to steer away from cursive because it's kind of hard to read cursive. Things like these, um, it's a cool font, but as you can see, it's hard to really um, see the words so much. So I actually kind of really preferred this one right here. It's a little bit different. Because it does have those pieces in there. That one's a little more cursive. Let's go. With. And I said, as I said, it's all a matter of finding that one that's going to stand out. So. You want it to still be readable. You don't want it too weird or anything. This one actually looks pretty cute. So as you can see here, it tells you the name of the font. So sometimes it's really good to like screenshot that. So that way um, you remember the name of the font. You can also, the first thing we're going to do here, now that I have that, even though I don't have it exactly where I want, we could, for the sake of the video, move it where we want up here. Move this little star. 
You want this to be, as I said, the biggest part of the contract because that's the person you're booking. So you want to get it real nice and centered, not too wide on the screen. And I'm doing this right here um, by clicking this little sizing button and that will move it smaller and bigger. Um, so we're going to put it about like that, okay? And we're going to bold that as well. Now, another fun thing that you can do is you want this, like, kind of perfect. So if you click this little hamburger right here, it will give you the option of center horizontal, center vertical. So we're going to go ahead and click center vertically and that brings you right to where it's at now you can also see as i'm moving this there's that line in the middle right there that's going to tell you if you're on center or not so you can get real specific with this later on down the line i tend to probably do it a little more than i need to but it all depends on um, your level of perfection i suppose so before we go any further what we're going to do up on the right hand corner there's the three lines of was referred to as the hamburger we're going to go ahead and click that and we're going to hit save but we're not going to save this yet as a normal jpeg we're actually going to go ahead and save it right now as a draft and the reason we're doing that is in case we lose this progress at any time we um have it to refer to and also another thing is if we ever want to like alter this contract in any way we have it saved so we're just going to call it john doe we're going to hit save there and the draft is saved fun thing you can do is also hit download as jpeg and that will track your progress of the creation of the contract depending on how nerdy you are so um here we go so this really yeah it stands out but i want to do a little something different like let's bring this 2023 2024 down and let's slide it over a little bit now instead of sliding it over and you get like what's going on right here where you got this and this is over here and it can be super tedious and confusing you can also double click that take your date right there cut that out keep it as John Doe contract and then if you click this button right up here you can actually duplicate this so there's a little button that says duplicate and i use this so much in logo pit it's so so helpful so if you hit duplicate all right now you have two of the same with the same font so if you go right up here again to the little um three prong little hamburger there um, it'll say actually edit text. So you're going to want to hit edit text and you're going to want to select all that. And then you're going to want to paste with what you have the 2023 to 24. So really looking nice and professional here, but we can make it better. Now you can actually buy pro versions of logo pit, but the reason that I use this so much is it seems like it has everything I need just with the free version. So we're going to go right here and we're going to alter our font a little bit. So you're going to click the little uh, check mark there because you're happy with the font. Um, you can also do some weird stuff here. There's a lot of crazy options. So let's mess around with it. You can bring it around, kind of swirl it around a little bit. As you can see, it's doing all kinds of crazy stuff there, moving it. Um, you can also make it kind of circular. That actually looks kind of cute right there. So we can do something like that. John Doe contract, maybe keep that one and then stretch it to your liking. Whatever looks professional to you. Now it is pretty straightforward. So I really want to emphasize that and make it look a little more fancy. So by doing that, you're going to click your check mark here. 
you're happy with where it's at. There's also other options that I failed to go over, like this, that can bring it a little bit bigger so you don't have to use the stretching. You can also make the words further apart, depending if you really want to, you know, stretch that out. But it seems pretty good right where we're at. I'm pretty happy with that. So, again, we're just going to hit that uh, check mark right here. And we're happy with the color since we already did the eyedropper and it is the same color as the star and everything's looking good. So we're going to go ahead and hit the check mark. Now, there's a really cool button right here, this 3D, but you can only slide it so much before it pulls up this access feature of $5 a month. So sad face, we're not going to do that, but however... It still did obtain a little bit of 3D for us, which is kind of cool. Um, here's a cool screen. You got a couple different options here that you can move around. Um, same thing, you can make it look, as you can tell, if we look up where it says John uh, Doe contract, it's kind of moving around a little bit, add a little bit of emphasis. Sure, let's bring it to the right. You can also bring it back, bring it forward, whatever kind of makes the eye pop there, which I think that actually kind of does. Um, you can bring it all the way around. You can really do a lot with this, but I think that actually kind of makes the viewer's eye pop a little bit more. So, um, and again, I'm just going to kind of stretch that a little bit to make it... Um, a little more insightful now um the cool part about this is after you've accepted everything we're just going to click right through this right here with the arrow button we did all that it brings you to this other option which is like a shading option it's really very cool um so just for example if i take this little uh cursor here this little slider and i start moving it over see what it does there It's really bolded the outside of it, but it kind of looks a little weird because it's like overlapped. So I'm not sure I like that so much. So I'm going to go back. And I think a lot of that has to do with maybe the way that we have it turned. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit to where I can tell that it's not going to be like weird anymore okay so that seems to be good we're going to go back we're just going to keep clicking over and instead of having it black like it is right now i'm going to go ahead and do that exact same thing that we did earlier and i want to eye drop and i want to eye drop this little white lining outside the star because even though it looks white I don't know if it is or not. It may be a different shade of white. So what I'm going to do is go to this uh, little three dot here. And you're going to want to go to the option eyedropper. Now here you can also save a color, load a color, change the color. If you don't want to do the eyedrop where everything's matching, you can hit right here change color. And say I want to bring that to like this beautiful turquoise here and I'm just sliding this over and this is also going to show you the number of the color so if you really really like that give it a screenshot for later on um it just makes it easier in the long run so let's try this little turquoise I'm going to hit select and that looks pretty cute so as we have a nice little turquoise color going on there, let's just see for the sake of with the eyedropper, we're going to go ahead and go down here to the three dot again. We're going to hit eyedropper. And we're going to go ahead and move that over to where we get to the little white outline of the star. Okay. So, as we can see here, it does look like a normal white, judging by the code, but 
just to be accurate, you never know. It could have been an off-white. So we're going to go ahead and suggest that. And as you can tell, it looks a lot more professional with um, the colors, the contract. So as you can see, if you really, really bold this out on this little slider here, it looks like they start to overlap a little bit. So you don't want to go too much with your bold. You want it to look semi-professional to an extent, just enough to get it a little bit of depth. So I'm going to bring it out, I'd say right about there. And then you also have an option right here that's more of like an italicized option if you want to kind of move it around um we have this one where you can slide and stuff similar to the other one that we had about moving it around a little bit but i kind of like that circular motion so when we get to where we want we're going to check mark it all the way just using that little check mark button there five or six and then we get to six or six and then here you can also adjust your shading lighting um a little bit of shadow on there um however you want to do you can really really personalize everything you want right here and i actually kind of like it with that little bit of the shading so we'll keep that all right so we're going to hit the check mark. We're good with that. And then we're just going to basically, instead of going down here and doing the exact same thing all over again, and that seems like a lot of work that I don't feel like doing, we're just going to go right up here exactly like we did earlier up to the John Doe contract. We're going to click it, and we're going to go to this little hamburger, the three line, and we're just going to click duplicate. Because there is, ain't nobody got time to do all that. So, we're duplicating in here. Looks like that we didn't get a lot of our shading with it. But that's okay because we can alter that. So, we're just going to go ahead and remove that second one. So, we're going to bring this down. We're going to take 2023 20, away. We won't need it anymore for right now. Bring John Doe up. And we're going to alter with that little three line there we're gonna click it edit text and we're gonna remove this and I forgot to actually copy so we're gonna type in 2023 to 2024 now as I said it kind of messed with our shading a little bit and it also gave us that curvature that we had on the John Doe don't really know if I like that too much so we're going to go ahead and take that off and just keep it straightforward. Now, you can also alter this and do different um, text if you want. Like I said, you want to make sure that it's readable. So, you don't want to use anything like crazy cursive or like this weird little blackout box. It looks cool, but trust me, in the long run, these are not going to be beneficial for you because things like this are really really hard to read on a flyer or a contract so we're going to keep it pretty simple i like this one right here it's pretty straightforward <coughs> same thing you see our font type of the league spartan so you can screenshot if you want that for reference it's also number 46 so that's on there as well uh, for future reference. Okay, so we have a pretty simple little contract here. I'm not going to alter with the shading too much to make this video like forever long. But I am going to bring that down just a little bit. This is really nice because it shows weight to the wording. And that's really a hard thing to do for an artist. So you have to think of it as this contract being kind of like your art as well. So with anything, as you're creating, you always want to make sure you go up to that little hamburger. You're going to click Save, and you're going to click Save Draft. Now, I can overlap this draft by just putting um, John Doe on there like we did before. But if I want to have the progress of all of them, I'm going to name it John Doe 1. That way... I have the option of looking back you can so we've saved that as John Doe 1 so what we need to add to this contract 
is basically the actual contract. So we're going to go and hit this back button. We're going to go all the way to this little button right here that has an A with a plus symbol. We're going to click that. And there's going to be an option that says add text. If it doesn't show up right away, you can always hit any part of the blank space here. And that should bring you back. So we're going to hit add text. So we're going to write John Doe will perform at the flat rate price of $200. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And if you even want, you can go up here and make it even more fancy and put a little bullet point. And I just did that simply by going to the one, two, three there. And... If you hit this little symbol, it'll bring up some options. And right here are your variety of bullet points and copyright and everything. So just a simple bullet point, nothing fancy. All right, so we're going to hit add. Now, as you can see, this kind of running off the screen. And I could shrink it down, but it's going to get kind of weird. So I do have some options. I can double click it. And I can go bring my cursor down. And move it down like that or I can keep it one solid sentence and just make it a little bit bigger which I think is probably what we're gonna do so we're gonna shrink that down <coughs> and we got it right here pretty centered now it is kind of like a little bit daunting with this red and um, blue background is kind of blinding. So I kind of want to change that. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and change it to white writing. So I'll go up here to the little square. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag this little cursor all the way up to the left. It's just a little bit easier to read. The last thing you want is your um, booking agents to have to be squinting or it be hazardous to their eyes while they're reading your contract. Not fun times. So, we're going to go right here. And John Doe will perform at the flat rate price of $200. we are going to do the same thing that we did before. We're going to go up to that hamburger. We're going to hit duplicate. And we're going to just write some stuff here that John Doe would like his contract to say. Um, John Doe will require, oh, let's make it fun, 500 green M&Ms. That seems to be the fun thing that you musicians are doing. So we're going to go here and put John D Doe will require... 500 green M&Ms just for the sake of being silly. We'll actually slide that down. Let's put some real information here. We're going to double click it, select all this. Good idea to put rain or shine event depending on your preference. Now you could also have a weather clause um, if you didn't want to do that, you have the option to put, let's see, easy, up, must be provided in rainstorms. Okay, pretty simple. John Doe will require 500 M&Ms. That's just a given. Okay. And if you want to get silly with it, you could even do something like this, depending to your liking. And like I said, probably overemphasize on the nerdy stuff here, but sometimes it's these little touches. Whoops. We don't want to do that. We're going to go back, back. Sometimes it's these little touches that really make it cute. And you really want your contract to be personal as much as possible. You want it to be straightforward. 
But you also want to have a little bit of fun with it, too. You know, no one likes a boring um, contract on just a white piece of paper with black ink. So let's make John Doe's contract a little bit exciting here. We're going to go up where we copy the word green. We're going to emphasize it. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to go right up here to the little white box. Click it. And we're going to find a really nice seductive green. So... And depending on how far you want to go with this, you can also do the 3D like we did. You can bring it up. Maybe I'll make it up. Oh, let's see. Black background for good measure. And just be silly with it. You don't have to do this, obviously. But things like this, like I said add a little bit of character. So, all depending on your liking and how far you want to go with it. Um, so, let's do one more for the sake of. One I always put in my contracts is bottled water must be provided. Nobody wants a raspy throat up there, folks, when you're singing. And lastly, always good to put on there, no matter what, this contract cannot be changed or altered unless... Well, usually I put unless it is by the artist itself. But, there we go. Unless it's by the artist and himself. Okay. Now, this one we're going to probably have to piece it up a little bit. All right. As you can see, you run into a little bit of... Moving it around, as I said, you can slide it around. Um, however you want to do it. You can also, like, the easy way is to just select it, cut it. We'll just say accept. And we're going to duplicate it bring it down now there probably is like easier ways I've always kind of did it this way but it all depends is by the artist himself okay so we're cooking now so we got us a nice little contract it's pretty simple stuff here folks don't need to make it too hard simple stuff straight to the point can't get much better than this okay what we need now on this contract is a signature. And that brings us to the point of putting it into DocuSign. So, we're going to make sure everything's good. As I said, you can go over to this little um, the hamburger here. Are you counting how many times I say hamburger? And you can center it horizontally and if you're really particular you can do this with every single one of them which I usually do because it's the little touches like that that really matter so you want to take pride in your contract especially if it's a contract that you're going to be using as a musician um, or performer you really want to take pride in your contract so since it moved a little bit our green M&Ms uh, moved. So, for uh, copyright sake, we should probably put candies in there, but that's okay. I'll take the risk. All right. We're going to go down here. We're going to duplicate this, and we're going to put signature of venue slash booking agent this is the most important part of the contract folks so you always want to make sure 
If you don't have anything at all in this contract besides your name, you want to make sure that you have the signature of the booking agent. So let's make it a little bit fancy. We're going to go up to this white box here and we're going to change that just for the sake of this with the little eyedropper to the color of the star just to make it look more uniform. I didn't want to do the whole contract that way because it's just a very blinding thing. Now you can also change the font there to make it a little more fun. As I said, you're going to want to steer clear of there's a great example. Definitely a font like this is really, really hard to read. And even more so if you stretch it. It's a great font and it's really funky, but it's just really, really hard to read. So keep it pretty simple here. That's cute. Still pretty simple. Let's go with this one. Okay, signature of venue or booking agent. And we can even go furthermore here with your little outline and really enunciate that so that way they know where to sign. Because that really is the most important part of the contract. So we're going to do that. And we're going to do a little line here. Now, some of these fonts sometimes are a little particular with the lines that they have. So I try to put one that doesn't come up as dashes, if that makes sense. Like that one kind of comes up as dashes. This one's the Roboto, and as I said, you can screenshot that. This is pretty simple because it doesn't show that dash so much. So you can either stretch this out or, better yet, probably just continue to type that out. Now, the lazy way is you can cut and copy and paste that. That way you don't have to keep hitting that button 10 million times. So we got us a nice little line there. And we're going to go ahead and center that horizontally. Make sure it's straight. Same thing with the signature of booking agent. So we're going to go ahead and save that. We got us a nice looking contract here, folks. I'm pretty happy about it. So we're going to go ahead and take it into DocuSign. Now, as I said, we're going to go right up here to save. And we're going to make sure that we save this as a draft. So since we're finished, I'm going to name it John Doe Final. Because I'll know this is the final draft. I'm going to hit save. And then you can also hit download JPEG. And I'm going to go ahead and give it the same name. If you're super worried about it, you can always hit 1. Now we're going to download that. It is going to bring you to the ads. If you don't have the full version, it's definitely going to make you uh, listen to the ads. As you can tell, it mentioned DocuSign because it's listening to everything we say. So we're going to hit later. Okay. And now you can also do multiple contracts in this, which is kind of cool. We're just going to keep it to the one document. Some contracts are a little bit longer in four or five pages, but we just got the simple little contract. So we're going to hit next. Now we need to put who needs to sign. Um, now, if you want to do an in-person signer, you can do that as well. Obviously we're doing that uh, digitally, but if you want to do a copy, how, what have you, but we're just going to go with the needs to sign. <laughs> so, we're going to put recipient name, John Doe. And we're going to go, guess what his email is, folks? John Doe at gmail.com. All right. <laughs> now that we got everything we need, we're going to go up to save. And there we go. We got our first person to sign. Now, you can also do like a set signing order. So, you have a few different um, 
people and you want the venue owner uh, second, the musician first, and third, you want your manager. However you want to do it, you can do that here by the set signing order. But we only have one, so we're going to go here to next. Oh, right. It's going to let you know about the auto tagging. We're going to X out of that. Now, there's a few crucial buttons here. Uh, the main ones, obviously, are going to be our signature and our date signed. Those are really the only two that I use when doing a contract. As you can see, it shows you right here up top the person that needs to sign, and it shows you your contract. So you can see everything right in front of you. So we're going to go up to Signature, and right here it's going to bring this little sign button which is really really cool this is also obviously movable so we're going to zoom back out and we're going to move that little sign button down on the line now it doesn't need to be exactly perfect sometimes you might get a little bit hangover where it's there but as long as it's in this general area you should be pretty good to go now to click back you're just going to click on this like blank space here and that'll take you back and we're going to want to put date signed. So we're going to zoom out of there and we're going to bring that date signed over there as well. Now you can get as particular as you'd like with this. It doesn't really matter too much to me as long as the person's autograph is on there and the date they signed it. So we got our contract there and the next thing we're going to do is click that next button. I'm not going to save a draft of this. You can if you so feel, but I'm not going to do that. So we're going to hit next. Now, it's really professional instead of saying, hey, this is from me on DocuSign, and please sign my scan 2023 11 15 at 20 27 50 PDF. It just doesn't look very super professional. So we're going to take that out and we're going to call that John Doe Contract 2023 into 2024. Now you can put something on the messages like, hello, thank you. For your interest in my musical talents, I am so eager to play your event. Be cute and put a little smiley face, or you can uh, do a little sad face, depending on. But yeah, it's nice to add a little uh, character to this. You don't have to put the smiley face if you don't want to. Keep it more professional. You could put down here. A little squiggly John Doe and then you could put a little music quote if you so like or an inspirational quote um, quote be kind to everybody you can also put like a little rainbow something like that this is just the message that the person's gonna get in their email so definitely have fun with it if you're a cowboy be a cowboy it's totally fine so we're gonna hit send it is securing which is the most important part and as you can see here we are waiting for john doe so at 8 33 p.m we're waiting for john doe to sign our contract so that is pretty much it folks you'll be updated you can go to your email and that will show you everything that you need so we have made a contract in logo pit and we have uploaded it to docusign and i surely hope this helps y'all in your future in